Hello friends, so this video is regarding the Solution Architect Examination, uh, AWS Certified Solution Architect Examination. So I have just cleared the Solution Architect Examination this Friday uh, and I thought that I need to share the strategy. I mean, so how can you prepare for the examination with least effort and maximum performance and maximum score. So uh, I, it would take around 25 to 30 days for, uh, for entirely preparing for the examination. So I will share my strategy and you could follow the same or you could devise your own plans and strategy to clear the examination. So the, let, let us first look at the exam overview. So yeah, it is an associate level examination and it has one th uh, the time limit is 130 minutes and the format is 65 questions and cost is 150 US dollars. Now there are two offers presently going on on AWS that is uh, the first offer is that if you have given cloud practitioner examination then you get a flat 50% discount on this examination and another offer is that uh, if you take the test via Pearson View, Pearson is a third party uh, I would say exam taker or uh, yeah where uh, is a platform where you take the exa AWS examination so if you take that if, if you take the examination via Pearson then you get a free retry in case you fail the examination so that there are two offers which I will show you in a moment so the yeah, delivery method is that you can give it is online also or you can give it on testing center and the score is the same as cloud practitioner examination which is ranged between 100 to 1000 and the passing score is 720 yeah so this is the yeah this is, this is the exam overview and now let us look at deep dive into the score distribution so how, how the 100 percent score is divided so uh, in in cloud practitioner if you had crammed up the services then you would have passed the examination but it is not the case in solution architect associate wherein you you will have to uh, go to the console and uh, do some activity over there and perform some practical over there in order to get the entire idea of how the systems are working how aws services are working and how they are scaling up auto scalings load balancer and a lot of other things right so the, the, there are four domains in which the exam is divided the first one is the design cq architectures which is 30 percent uh, which is the highest weighted which is 30 percent and yeah design resilient architectures 26 percent high performing 24 and cost optimization 20 percent so there is a uh, so initially the solution architect examination has a co had a code of c02 but it was terminated in august and then they have started this new examination uh, c03 with the code 3 c03 and there is a i would say a less difference between the board both of the examination yeah so initially in the design secure architectures there was 24 percent but now it is 30 percent so it is a highest weightage now uh, let me talk about the important services which i which i found out that there were lots of question on this uh, this services so the first one being the virtual private cloud the nat gateways nat instances uh, ipv4 ipv6 uh, vpc peering transit gateway so while you while you prepare for the course or i would i would say while you prepare for the examination or certification you will have to uh, focus more on virtual private cloud and its related services which aws has provide so similarly with load balancers and auto scaling groups and the messaging services like sqs sns and kinesis so kinesis is a uh, proprietary uh, aws owned service and yeah while you prepare for the examination you will get to know about the same and containers and disaster recovery yeah so desired disaster recovery strategies are very important because they they form this part of resilient architecture how to design a resilient architecture means i would say a robust architecture which would handle everything in case of a failure so these are some of the important services and yeah so this this is all now let me uh, show you some of the sources resources which i use so the first one being the uh, udemy course which is uh, ultimate aws certified solution architect examination associate uh, so this is a course by stephen marek and yeah it is available at uh, the lowest price It is available at the lowest price uh, for last 15 hours. You can take this course. Yes, this is a course of uh, I would say 13 to 14 hours. Yeah, and it is updated for the latest SAAC03 examination, which is the latest examination because SAAC02 was terminated by AWS itself. So yeah, you can take this course. It is available at a lower price, and if if you have a business account associated with your organization, then it is a free uh, for you, right? So you can take this course. And another one being 
see once you complete this course you need some practice test right because i would suggest you to give around 12 to 15 practice tests before sitting for the uh, actual examination because uh, you need to get the simulation of a real level examination right so this is a, uh, a practice test by neil davis so yeah it consists of a bundle of six practice tests and yeah it is also available at the lowest price because of uh, udemy black friday sales so you could take this course also and i would paste the code, uh, course links in the description and one one free source which is a good source which is a i would say knowledge art uh, it is by upgrade so you can there are i would say how many tests uh, yeah there are there are multiple uh, practice tests available so yeah so i would yeah there are five to six tests available where you can practice this this test and get a real time simulation of the solution architect examination so this is all about the solution architect examination and in case if you have any doubts comment it down I will try to resolve them and I would try to answer your queries regarding the solution architect examination and just one more uh, I would say exam tip that uh, while you prepare for the course let's say if you have taken Udemy course or any other course or any other uh, YouTube course like there are lots of YouTube course also uh, by digital crowd training and free code camp so in case if you have take, taken any course then I would recommend you to take uh, the notes of all uh, while you while you go through the course you take notes uh, and uh, maintain it and then you while towards while you are approaching towards the final examination you just need to revise those notes rather than going through the entire video lectures and also uh, i would recommend you to uh, have a aws account and then you can practice some of the i would say free tier services on aws console and you can try it out using your using yourself right so that is that, that is one exam tip that i would have like to give and uh, yeah that is all and i would in the description i would uh, mention this courses and also so, uh, uh, the so i would say the free course free, uh, free test series by knowledge Ed. i would paste the code in the uh, link in the description and in, uh, do not forget to subscribe to the channel and like the content thank you